Hi guys, Rory here. Just hit one parallel left. All's really well though. Gets off camera. Oh! <laughs> It's so true. <laughs> so, so true. <laughs> this, this is alter ego. Oh, the Jekyll and Hyde of Rory. <laughs> the on camera and off camera. Morning guys, Roy here from Your Golf Travel. Um, day eight, I think, on the South Africa tour. Uh, we were out in Durban last night, which is a lot of fun. So not feeling too sharp right now. Morning, mate. Good morning. How are we? <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah? How are you? We had a, you know, a few cocktails, personalized cocktails last night. <laughs> feeling fresh? Fresh would be a, a massive over, over exaggeration, but yeah. <laughs> We're getting there, we're working on it. How are you doing, Mr. London? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Currently we're 15 minute drive from the centre of Durban city, uh, we're at Mount Edgecombe Golf Club and considering our proximity to the city I thought I'd talk about what sets Durban apart from other regions in South Africa such as the Garden Route and or Johannesburg. So we're going to make our way around Mount Edgecombe Golf Club, so there's two golf courses here, we're on the lakes right now, we're going to play nine holes here, stop for a bit of lunch and then we're going to play the woods later on again nine holes, we haven't got time for 36 unfortunately. But yeah, let's make our way around this amazing looking golf course and chat about why you should be choosing Durban over various other regions in South Africa. Oh, Lawn B. Right, so the first thing to consider about the Durban area of KwaZulu-Natal is the climate. Right now I'm in the middle of winter, believe it or not, um, and it's 25 degrees today and pretty much you get sunshine all year round in this part of South Africa, whereas other parts there is a bit more of a temperate climate. So you combine that with the golf courses you've got in this area as well as the other things that you can do away from the fairways and that's an obvious plus point to make this an excellent golf holiday destination. So with an average monthly temperature hovering around that 25 degree mark, beachgoers will be glad to hear that Durban is home to some of South Africa's best beaches. There's a stretch called the Golden Mile and basically you've got an endless expanse of golden sand, warm Indian Ocean waters, great for swimming and it's also one of the safest places for swimmers in South Africa. Obviously you get the Great Whites coming in but there are shark nets all along the coastline in Durban making it a great place to have a little dip during the afternoon sun. Also, while the fact that I'd imagine not a lot of golfers do take to the waves and do a bit of surfing, it's also one of South Africa's best surfing spots with great waves all year round. Good one, Phil. So another interesting thing about Durban is that outside of India it's home to the largest population of Indians on the planet. So as you can imagine the variance in the culture is actually pretty interesting and as you will know if you've seen the social posts over the last week or so, South Africa is one of the best places in the world for foodies. So anyone with a penchant for curry, definitely Durban will be right up your street. And if you've never heard of bunny chow, definitely check it out. It's a South African specialty and it's basically a curry served in a loaf of bread. Now that might sound really odd, but we had our first, well I had my first bunny chow at San Lemire Golf Club the other day. I have to say it was absolutely out of this world and Durban is world famous for bunny chow so hopefully we'll get some time later on this evening to go into Durban and check it out, get more bunny chow on the cards. Ooh, I can't wait.
What a fantastic lunch that was uh, here at Mount Edgecombe. Just heading into the woods course now. We're going to do nine holes here. Uh, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, the boys are teeing off behind me. So 36 holes on offer here at Mount Edgecombe, absolutely fantastic. As I make way through nine holes here on the woods course, we'll talk a little bit more about why Durban might be the choice for your next golf holiday in South Africa. I'm not parting that, no. Uh, no, that's good. <laughs> Cheers, dude. <laughs> One down. So we've come to 16 in Mount Edgecombe. Uh, course infamous for myself. I made a 14 as a junior. <laughs> as you can see, there's some intimidating tee shots. So we're on the championship tees. Water all the way up the right. Uh, and a wind pushing in off the left. Roars with the honour after an absolutely spectacular tee shot. They have just won the last two holes and claimed a bit of respect back and they're only one down and actually may have a 10% chance of getting a result. What's the line here, Joe? Okay. What's the line here? Left? Left. Okay. Stay left. Um, at that 150 post-ish. See the one in the distance? Yeah. Could be the beginning of another 14. So the interesting thing with this hole is because that did not cross the grass, he's yeah. hitting from here again. Yeah. We've got another ball with me. Just this is well. how it's easily easy to make a 14. <laughs> Yeah, I think we might be two down now. <laughs> I'm, I'm aiming so far left. <laughs> I'm bidding this so far left. Oh, no. I'm aiming so far left. <laughs> that's, that's not even hit the water. That's not even hit the water. That's like. <laughs> wow. Jason, you're fine. <laughs> you haven't seen the right side of a golf course with a driver in your hand yet, so... Well, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Uh. Uh. finished up here at Mount Edgecombe. Nine holes on the lakes course, nine holes on the woods course. Really love the woods. That would be my pick of the two, um, but both are absolutely fantastic and just carries on a trend of absolutely wonderful golf courses here in South Africa. So next up on the list of reasons why to come to Durban, and it's a bit of an odd one, but obviously you can, you can still do the safari thing in Durban as you can do in other parts of South Africa as well, but there's also another natural spectacle which occurs off the coast of Durban every single year and I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen the BBC documentary Nature's Great Events um, narrated by David Attenborough but basically there's a shoal of sardines that travels down the coast just off Durban and it's just a mass feeding frenzy lots of different things pile in on these sardines and if you've ever seen that documentary you'll know exactly what I mean it's absolutely spectacular so you can catch a glimpse of that and as I said you can also do normal safari as well so the wildlife is definitely an element that is still on offer here in Durban. Titters. It's all a bit much for us really. Thanks, mate. 
I'm glad we've got this on camera right now. So Rory's just turned up. Tiddles, hold up, what's in your left hand, please? This is one of Africa's finest. Rory's? Yeah. Bernard? Mm. Yeah, you can have this. I've got an empty bottle of water coming my way. There you go. No, I don't want that. There you are. No, I definitely don't there want any beer. Cheers, guys. That'd be nice for you. <laughs> Thanks. Nice one. Just asked Rawls to check the buggy that hadn't left anything and it did not go down well. Angry bloke. <laughs> Right, Jay Longs. Um, Durban Lake almost complete. We've got about 24 hours left here. Sad times. As a man who grew up in this area of South Africa, let's pretend I'm coming to South Africa for the first time. Yeah. Right? And I'm choosing between Garden Route, various other places. Why Durban? Um, I don't know, loads of different things. I think you've got a really good mix of um, affordability. Um, you know, it is quite a bit cheaper than Cape Town and everywhere else, so that's definitely uh, a plus point. Uh, BA have got a direct flight here now, so in terms of access, it's just as easy as anywhere else. Um, but then I think, in terms of an overall experience, you've got authentic game reserves here, you know, whereas Cape Town's a little bit more privatized. You know, Nambiti, Pinder, and the likes up there are incredible. Culturally, uh, again, you've got a lot going on here with Fugitive Drift, so you've got three or four days in the battlefields if you wanted to do that. Um, you know, as we've experienced, the golf up here has been incredible. Uh, the weather all year round is is perfect for golf. I mean, it's it's the first of May and it was 27 degrees today. Yeah, yeah. Um, the courses are still really green, um, so you get the rain during the summer. So you know, only up until July, August, they start getting a little bit of a brown tinge. So you know, travel all year is an absolute must. Um, fabulous beaches. Food is, I, I mean, that's a par for South Africa, but you know, especially in Durban, you've got the Indian influence here. Um, well, the curry we just had was outrageous. The, the curry we had was amazing. <laughs> all, all six of those dishes that we sampled. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think, you know, I, I think the, the main thing really is, is you've got a lot going on um, within two or three hours. So, you know, accessibility, um, it's just really easy for everyone to, to come and dip their toe in the water here. Um, and it's a fantastic place to do a taster because it's, it's, it's more locally driven, so you get a real authentic feel. You know, you go to places like Cape Town and there's a, there's a big influx of people from overseas. So sometimes maybe a bit of a different experience, but uh, here it's predominantly local, so you, you literally can throw yourself into the local culture and, and get a true taste of South Africa. Um, Look, it's, it's been amazing coming home. It's been the first time I've been here for 15 years. Um, you know, great memories, um, especially at Selborne and Mount Edgecombe. You know, it's, it's, it's just one of the best places to be and uh, I'd recommend it to anyone. So we're coming back, what, next year is it, Vern? <laughs> well, we're hoping to get you guys back here, obviously, much sooner than that. Um, <laughs> there's a lot more to see here, especially up north, uh, Johannesburg. That region. Um, so let's see where it all plays out. Yeah. Get you guys down here. Well, yeah, again. Bosses at YGT. Gonna have to come back much sooner than later. You heard it here from the big man. Don't wanna mess with him.